you know, I, I basically, thanks to the gate system that I have downstairs, I was actually able to make different rodeo pins. So it's kind of like managing oh, that's helpful. rodeo. Yeah. Well, you know, yeah, because you like can a, you can give them each like, right. their own space, and they can't yeah. instigate with each other. And that's you know, right. So yeah. we're gonna put the buck and bronc over here. We're putting the uh, evil looking black bull named Satan over in that pen, and we're putting um, Lucifer Guccifer out into the main arena right now because the clowns want to have fun. So that's right. Shout out to the rodeo clowns. Yeah, <laughs> did, you know. They provide a service. They really provide a service. But, you know, those rodeo clowns have saved many a lives, actually. That's true. They have. No cap. No cap. Uh, and, uh, you know, shout out to all the rodeo clowns in the audience tonight. It is Thursday night once again, America. Uh, matter of fact, it is Thursday, June the 20th, 2024, uh, the year of our collective madness. <laughs> Did you know, Yona, that today is not only the summer solstice, but it is also a full moon, which does not happen every year on the summer solstice, I am told. No, this, this is quite a rare occurrence. I, I really feel of the spirit all around. Uh, you know, like, seriously, like, it's not very often that, like, I'll pray one prayer one night and it comes true the next day. And then that day, I pray another prayer, and it comes true the next day. I'm like, apparently I must have rubbed the genie's lamp or something. Something. There, there's I some think, strange I energy going around. That works. Yeah. I think that's how it works. I don't know. I mean, for those at home and listening later, you can rub the lamp, see what happens. Um, hashtag results may vary. To find out more, fuck around. That's right. Anyway. Well, I, we I'd do be back here we for episode 31 or is it 31? 31. That's right. So, uh, and then we've got episode 32 coming up next Thursday. Next week. Yeah. After the big, uh, tete a -te between, and uh, then, um, Cheeto Dick and, uh, president scratch and sniff episode 33. Totally not pre-recorded ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Remember that about the debate next week. Totally not pre-recorded. Yeah, live, but it's gonna have like a. Live. It's gonna have a virtual audience though, right? Like on The Sims. Sure. I love playing The Sims. Shout out Maxis Software. Anyway. EA Games. They're they're almost as bad as the United States. Yeah. Or the Weimar Republic? Is that what it is, Six? <laughs> I don't know. Is that, is that what America becomes <laughs> when it ceases being America? Um, I was going to go with either um, Mexanida or Canuxico. Take your pick. I'm kind of partial to Canuxico. I'm not going to lie. Although it, it rolls off I the tongue nicely. I think if you mix all three together, it's actually... Amierda. Yeah, something like that. Which is just one big, big. ball of shit. <laughs> That's right. Amierda. Amierda. You know, it, it makes sense. Instead of America, Amierda. Yeah. Rolls right off the tongue. Because poop. Anyway. <laughs> well, wow, my voice is shit burger. I just want to uh, uh, prepare people. There's going to be a little bit, bit of a road bump. A little bit of a interruption in your normal gt dubs liberty radio um buffet offerings you're used to every week because when we would normally be filming and recording get fact harder episode 33 in fact the yona will not be at the um tri-state uh huntington west virginia kentucky ohio studios here in fact uh if all goes according to plan, uh, the Yona and the Drizzle uh, will be conducting some uh, alien moon landing nuclear bomb JFK research. It's, it's, it's all related. Yep. It's all related. Start at Antarctica. Take notes if needed. I, do I need to go slower? Anyways, um, uh, now, 
we could maybe might film maybe something on that to commemorate the 33rd episode. Hmm. But in that case, it's going to be a pre-record, unlike this live presidential debate coming up. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I will have to we'll have to discuss that in the production meetings. I get, although I think you're getting a little ahead of the the schedule. I although, only I only I think like one week at a time. I'm like, am I alive I, this week? All right, cool. Let's make a show. I I'm just thinking of like kind of like a little blurb of like two or may, maybe thirty seconds or something where you take a like a selfie type video, you know, like uh, January sixth in the White House or something. Don't knock over the velvet ropes. Um, right and you know a single file line don't you know, forget and, your and cocaine then, right and use your selfie stick um you know it's cool pose with the cops um <laughs> you know and, and you know all kinds be like of all right and be like all right so this is when we were sitting next to each other and you'll notice it's kind of hard to see who's all in the picture because it's just mainly smoke but but that's that's me on the right and yona on the left yeah all right and, that, and that's that'll pretty much be it no, I figure we'll we'll have plenty of time to record B roll and uh, <coughs> you know all that other uh, industry lingo. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm really interested. You know, I well, we already know what my first major film objective is, and it's a uh, woodland creature with large teeth, a cute little red hat, and he's sitting on top of the roof next to a gas pump island with about, I don't know, 154 fucking gas pumps because we're talking about Bucky's, man. Yeah. That's, I thought you were talking about Bucky's. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, where else can you have a woodland creature on the roof and 154 gas pumps under one island? Well, what's the, what's the mascot of Loves? It's just a heart. Just a heart? Still? Yeah. It's just a heart. Like even they had the opportunity to to change it to a coronavirus, and it's oh, still a I heart. forgot they they do have the cross eyed love bear, but it's a plus. I mean, it's it's a stuffed yes, bear because love so, is cross eyed. Um. Yeah, you know, unfortunately, yeah. I I was going to say that there are probably some that would buy that bear, um, because it's even more stuffable, but um, hopefully that's Mm. never happened to Bucky. I can only imagine if a Texas Ranger caught some out-of-stater putting extra stuffing into a Bucky plush toy. That's why, you know, that's why there's a drive-through lane at the Huntsville Penitentiary for um, executions. That's how it works. You know, in other states, they like protest. Drive by. Both. Yeah. Both. Um, I mean, seriously, in Huntsville, you can get a Whataburger, a Jack in the Box, or some um, corporal punishment all through drive through Oh, nice. Uh, other states, they protest. A lot of countries, a lot of states. I didn't know Jack in the Box had made it that far east. That's nice. I like that. And the truth is, if, if you order the wrong thing on the Jack in the Box menu, chances are, you know, it's still going to be pretty good, yeah. You, you could find yourself heaving on a table about an hour later for about 20 or 30 minutes foaming at the mouth until you die because, you know, they still can't find the, the sodium pen, pentothionol or whatever it is. So okay. they're having to, you know, mix it up on the fly. Tr- true story. You know, it's... Well, you don't know. I mean, I, you know, it's bad after it, the poor guy's been foaming for an hour and then they're like, well, this is awkward. You know what? We're just going to draw the curtains back. Now the witnesses can go. Trust me, he'll die in a little while. Just, everybody can go now. We'll just give him some more. Do we have a hammer or anything? My God, this guy's still twitching. Anyway. Well, Yona, you know our buddy Six, uh, the new prisoners. <laughs> he's hanging out in the Rumble live stream chat tonight. Uh, oh, which, yeah. if, you guys, if you guys are watching the replay, that's awesome. We love it when you watch the replay. The live streams are a whole lot more fun, uh, especially if you are smoking more of the weeds. Oh my God! Loves was a naked child with a bow, but then came the charges. Oh. That sounds hey. about right. 
So Six thinks that episode 33 should be an eyes wide shut party. Oh, wow. Yeah. We might, we might have to uh, do a, like some crazy uh, sexy animal masks or something. Or maybe do to... something with antlers. That would work too, right? Well, hey, Driz, you got, uh, you got any mason jars you drink out of? No. No, they're in, uh, they're in short supply, man. They're hard to find. Wow. Yeah. I got all kinds of, you know what? I, I'll bring two mason jars with me. Just four episodes. I mean, it seems to me it would be apropos to consume my beverages during episode 33 with a proper mason jar. Man. Yeah. In fact, um, if Shelly uh, if Shelly is listening, I actually have a 33 ounce mason jar. Boom. That's right. Damn. Where'd you come by that? That's right. I uh, bought that at Howard's General Store in New Haven, Kentucky. Damn. Does it have the 33 on it? Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, it is part of the glass. It's glazed. Well, Yona, oh, yeah. have, you, have you been following the situation in France? Um... Matter like fact, where have you, been, have you been talking about the situation in France? That might be a better question. Uh, are you talking about like where Macron thought that um, it'd be a great idea to have a snap election since he's the most unpopular president of France ever? I don't know. I'm just asking because France checked in on the website this week. Yeah. And I'm yeah, trying I... to figure out why. Yeah, I've I've been talking about uh, le macaron, le macaron. All right. I've been talking about that saddle pal. So it was that now. that little midget lady boy. Yeah, feed putain. All right. Pardon my French. Those were those were the bad French words. Saddle pal, feed putain, enculé. Anyways. Yeah. Pardon his French. Civil we play. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you know, th there are problems right now uh, dans la cinquième république de la France. The Fifth Republic has got some major issues. Um, and We're I up was to thinking, five already. Damn. Yeah, you know, I was thinking that, that we had discussed this previously, that M Macron was thinking that he could pull the same shit that they just pulled in Spain. By doing a snap election, catching the uh, opposition, you know, flat-footed, and then just running it through the polls real quick. Well, yeah, I think that's exactly what he was planning. But it ain't going to go down like that. No, it's going to fail yeah. miserably. Yeah. Yeah, in fact... Almost. I also, I, almost you know, if, like that was the plan from the start. And here's the fucked up thing about it. More than likely, we're going to be dealing with um, Jean-Luc Mélenchon. Jean-Luc uh, Mélenchon. That just sounds um, douchey. Yeah. Jean-Luc Mélenchon. That's, um, like that sounds even more douchey than Macron. Um, or Melanchon. Melanchon? Melanchon? Mélenchon. That sounds a lot like Mansion. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think you could get a more French fucking sounding name Jean-Luc Mélenchon <laughs> yeah, I mean oh my god oh my god just gag on a fucking truffle already <laughs> anyway is that how he introduces himself at the beginning of every address and you know he's Laugh kind of included. got this um worker street cred aura around him kind of the same shit smell that's like on Lula da Silva down in Brazil Mm. Uh, and so, oh, we were talking about Brazil in the pre-segment. Yeah, I don't. I, I I could hear it, bits and pieces between the cacophony of howls and screams. Oh, of the yonalings. Yeah, yeah. Because this is uh, what what is this season for the yonalings, Yona? What's it called again? 
uh, I think we're into summer now with the solstice. Oh uh, well, yeah, I I guess summer. But isn't this like uh, what is it, mischief season or? Oh oh, right now we're in wrestling season. Gotcha. All right, wrestling season, and I mean it's actually my darling youngest little girl, the Wolfie Waya. That is the instigator. There's always she, one. She antagonizes. You know, Kai Soda's trying to do his own thing. Um, we need her trying to do her own thing. You know, the team Double J is on the floor. They're trying to, you know, you know, Double J just wants to be left the fuck alone. Drizzle knows. On a much deeper level. Um, and just, you know, hey, government, why don't you just leave me the fuck alone? And and we'd be good like that. Just just stay the fuck out of my life. So um but of course, here comes the wolfie. Like Peter and the wolf. Da 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 poking, flicking ears. She's a bully. And she's this really the smallest, shortest one, and she walks with two left feet. But I caught her yesterday, literally taking her right hand and tucking it up underneath the middle of her shirt. So that she could cover her right hand underneath her shirt. I'm going to have to start calling her fucking Napoleon, dude. Oh, yeah. Well, she's going she's gonna to find her water like a, real yeah. fast. Yeah. See, yeah. and we just circled back to France again. God yeah. damn it. Yeah. But is, Yona, is she quiet? Or is she, is she like a loud one? Oh, she's stealthy. She's got stealth mode yeah. and she's got loud mode. Yeah, see, I, I I told Johnny Vedmore earlier on Twitter, I was like, you know, it's the small, quiet ones that you got to keep your eye on. Those are the troublemakers. And he agreed with me. Like, literally, you know, I'm sitting here, I'm changing a diaper, and I notice something moving out of my eye. And I look down, and she's gone fucking ninja. She's walking pigeon-toed, literally tiptoeing, like she's doing choreography for Michael Jackson's The Thriller as she fucking tiptoes with the fucking tiptoe hands, you know. <laughs> and then I and then I look over and I'm just waiting and I see her get right up behind her sister and I go, hey. And she looks at me and so startled she fell over. <laughs> Scared her half to death. She didn't know you were watching. <laughs> yeah. I see you funny. sneaking in here. Oh my God! Who That's needs TV? Funny. Who fucking needs TV? Jesus. Well, do they watch any TV at all? Like, do they watch cartoons? Dora la uh, Dora la Exploradora. Ah, all right. And then that's, also that's probably them. where she got the the whole tiptoe hands from. Swiper. It's the swiper walk. Swiper, no swiping. But, uh oh. Um, uh oh oh wow I'm just reading all of these messages that I just got in from the hospital huh. uh, where, uh -oh. wife, where wife number two is Emily will have to come back over and uh, oh I probably shouldn't read these out loud I mean it's up to you we're, we're oh. just live going all over the world and in, uh, interstellar on a Thursday night as usual Right, so the door's unlocked, so I don't have to worry about that. But I hear Jonah crying, so give me just a second. Let All me, right. Let me go check on him. Yeah, man. Go <clears> check <throat> on him. The Yona, ladies and gentlemen, doing it all on a Thursday night uh, here on, uh, on your Liberty Radio. Let's see. I don't know if I have anything fun. I'm not sure if I do. Oh, that's right. There we go. Boom. Aha. I do hear Jonah. Maybe you heard him too. I figured if one of them was going to wake up, it was probably going to be Jonah. Oh, wow. 
Looks like we, we might actually have a special guest this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Well, I don't know if this is going to work. I might need to put it on mute for a second. But... Yeah. Uh -oh. Poor guy. I'd like to say that I remember uh, being in that same situation and that I can feel his pain, but I don't. That was a long fucking time ago, man. I've smoked so much weed between now and then. Like, there's just no. No, no, no way I, that's ever going to be able to come back out of this memory. That has been, like, overwritten. I don't even know how many times by now. Um, uh, my goodness. All right. Well, I've got him in his bed over there. He don't want to drink the bottle, and he's got his eyes closed, and I think he's actually asleep. Could be. He cries. He actually cries in his sleep. Does he? And, yeah, let me take a look over there. Oh, I ran out of um, earphones. Link. You might, well, yeah, you might. I don't know. Yeah, and he rolled over on his side, and now he's sawing logs. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I got my hands full. Really wow. got my hands full. Five so you, kids yeah. under five. But think well, about yeah. that. Think about that. That that was uh that was Jonah's Liberty Radio debut. That's right. And he slept through the entire thing. That's good. I think we'll keep our G rating. We might be able to put this one on uh, YouTube. Yeah. Well, he had his pants on, so that helps. Right. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> what a roller coaster of a week. Oh, uh, did just much gonna, happen this week? I don't know. Just going to call it um, uh, a serendipitous chain of events. So what was this with the uh, poopy touching the Pope? You're not supposed to touch the Holy Pope, poopy pants. I didn't know that. He he's he's the Bishop of Rome. He's the Apostle of God. You don't touch the Holy Poop. You're not allowed to do that. No, you're only allowed to. Ki you can only kiss his corn ring. You can't poke the poop. You can't touch the poop. Uh, is, that, is that where the whole kiss the ring thing comes from? Yeah. I thought it was only... like a mafia thing or something. Right, because only the Holy Father and the Godfathers wear the blessed ring. And if you want the blessing of the Holy Father or the Godfather, gotta kiss the ring. Get on the knees and, and Becky on that ring. There you yeah. go. Or that's the story, <laughs> anyways, uh, of why you have to get on your knee in front that's of the Pope. Right. Allegedly. Yeah. But, you know, what happens back there behind his sacristy stays behind his sacristy. Taint nobody talking. Anyway. I actually, <laughs> I, I have a theory uh, about that image, Yona. Um <laughs> I don't. I don't know if the the White House uh, wants this getting out though, because I think I'm I'm pretty close to to being you know dead on balls accurate with my theory, because I've spent I've spent a number of years watching Joe Biden, not just you know the the last four years that he's been president, or just since he was Obama's little bitch boy, right? So I've watched Joe Biden a long, long time. Number one, I really, that I really Joe miss Biden. The happy Joe Biden. That that's the real Joe Biden, the one that would just fucking free ball and riff and just keep coming up with these fucking gaffes and major fuck up statements, and there was just constant apologies for what Joe Biden yeah, said. That's true. Yeah, and that's all gone now. Now we get fucking robot. Hey, I'm lost. Could somebody push the bubbles out of my mask face, Joe Biden? Yeah, we get the Vinny the Chin Act. Yeah, yeah, as uh, of, as Steve on AM Wake Up likes to point out, he's he's doing the whole crazy mob boss act. 
Instead of sending the clowns every time I see a Biden public appearance, it's like sending the clones. Right. Which one are we going to get this time? Uh, no earlobe Biden or um, testicle chin Biden again? Uh, Which one is going to be this Isn't time? Biden Irish? <laughs> yeah. Scranton Joe. <laughs> so he's an Irish Catholic Zionist. That's right. Right. Yeah. Mob boss. Yeah. He's a fucking mob boss. I mean, how many corporations are registered in the state of Delaware again? All of them. I swear there's like one office address in Wilmington, Delaware. It's like the address for about, I shit you not, like 58,000 corporations. All yeah. have like everyone on the Fortune 500 <laughs> is registered to that address. Delaware Corporation. Anyway. Yeah. The first I don't, state. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I, I think, I think with this whole last week or so with, uh, with Joe gallivanting all over the planet, and and being paraded around in foreign countries in front of their media with all of this stuff going on. It's, it's called a charm offensive drizzle with poop. Well, no, it's again, it's deliberate, right? Because they, they are showing him on the world stage to be the fool that, that we all at home know him to be. So it's, it's more national embarrassment demoralization taking america down a peg it's all of those things but most importantly what it is is it's showing the global power structure in live and freaking living color that motherfucker ain't got no clothes on yeah game on kids game on there is a power vacuum it does make me feel powerful as a nation state on the world stage when the president gets done reading his prepared statement and all of the handlers then encircle him like, uh, oh, what do they call it? Uh, synchronicity uh, swimmers. What, what is it when all the swimmers are swimming? Synchronized. Synch- synchronized swimmers. They all swim around him. Okay, thank you, thank you, no questions, no questions, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And they just kind of push over all the reporters and, and get them the fuck out of the door before he says anything. Oh, my right. God. Because, you know, that did happen when he was in um, Hanoi in Vietnam. Um, and uh, he started riffing it up there. And somebody asked him a question from the, uh, what was it? Uh, oh, what's that country there? Malaysian Times, Kuala Lumpur, ask him a question. He starts fucking responding. So they fucking cue up the fucking Oscar music. Yeah. And they fucking played him out. Like, yeah. I was just waiting for the dude from Half Baked with the fucking uh, uh, boom box. Like, yeah, wrap face. it up, bro. Yeah. Wrap it up, bro. <laughs> wrap it up. Thank you, thank you, no questions, no questions, thank you. God, that is so fucking tacky. Oh my God. Well, I put up... <clears throat> Nobody put up else a... does that. No, but no other leader has people doing that. Nobody else has the synchronized swimming and all that, no. <laughs> well, I mean, it's because it's such a fucking clown show. Right. Like you have to you have to choreograph every fucking step of the way. Otherwise the illusion just falls to pieces. Like that's it's how so show bad. business works. Like if you don't if you don't micromanage it to the fucking nth degree, then there is no magic on the other side of the screen. People don't seem to realize that. I, I could share a screen right now and we could go on a world tour from Australian TV. To India TV, Chinese TV, to Egyptian TV, to Italian TV, to French TV, to Dutch TV. I've seen about 14 different foreign language 
SNL type skits of people in their own country putting up somebody that looks like um, blowjob machine um, and uh, you know Jack M. Hoff's um, Jack M. Hoff's uh, wife Kamala Harris yeah. or come come on all of them or whatever um, and then um, poopy pants and and them having some skit in their foreign language and I'm I, again laughing stock of the whole world it's 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 a it, it it's like the zionist masters of the country are just literally just at this point they've choked out uncle sam like a rag doll and now they've pulled his pants down and they're like you know, playing with his wiener and smacking him around, and he's just choked out and limp like a rag doll. Um, it's really sad. I mean, you know, on, on a on a bright note, I was doing some research into this whole thing about like traitors and when they commit acts of treason. Right, and it turns out those type of individuals in the country contribute the most to new mulch production hmm. because we're always needing to plant new things which requires mulch and traders make great mulch feet first um now i'm wondering what the hell is going on with the uh, hurricane that's bound for texas there is no hurricane bound for texas who told you there was a hurricane that was going to hit Texas. Uh, well, That's like fake today. news, Yona. Have you been watching you MSNBC go, again? Let me see. No, it's going to slam into Tampico, if it hasn't already. Oh. Then apparently there's another one behind that as well. Oh, it just made landfall, apparently. Let me see. Did it? Alberto. Yeah. Yeah, Alberto turned and it Oh yeah, made Alberto, landfall. that's what they called it. <clears throat> just just yeah. coincidentally, Alberto is going to hit Mexico. Sure. Okay. So at Oh, it just made landfall an hour ago. No. Oh. Well fuck yeah. Nice. Well bienvenidos, Señor Huracan. <laughs> Anyways, absolutely. Um, Welcome, Alberto. Glad you could join us this evening. Unfortunately, Alberto is kind of stuck right on the shore right now because, as anyone knows, um, I I don't want to I don't want to deal with customs, but Adwana wants to deal with you. So right there, you go. <laughs> I don't want to deal with you. I, Adwana does. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. Now, me, we might see some rain from this um I, there was some uh some storm surge down around uh galveston that was apparently right. uh yeah a couple of feet that's it, well you, texas won't see much from this i phytophiliac keeps uh threatening so, so me in with other a hurricane words, this year and i'll be damned if i'm gonna let it happen oh no no i, I just try to put it all together so on wednesday June the 19th, Galveston found out that they would be free from the hurricane's wrath. All right, let's, right. let's celebrate your freedom. That's right. And so they had a cookout. <laughs> That's the story of all, Juneteenth. And now they're all chewing teeth. There you go. Yeah, I thought I thought we had a we had a pretty good hoot nanny last night. You know, it was oh, yeah. a, it was a downright old fashioned style hoot nanny uh, with Bill Cooper to boot. I mean, you can't beat that. Uh, the six has a, a a poignant question in the uh, yo yo ho ho and a bottle of rumble chat. There, um, can we vote to leave the union? Yes. If not, the next cry of my democracy should be answered with that very question. Now, um, if by vote you mean to um, fire continuously, reloading rather than retreating, then yes, that, that's how you leave the union. 
Well, you can vote with bullets. Absolutely. But I believe uh, Texas actually has the required signatures needed in order to get uh, secession on the ballot this year. Oh, yeah. So they can actually put it to a vote in true Democratic psychopathic fashion. And uh, I'm sure Texas the federal could once again be an independent republic. And I'm, I would support I'm, that. I'm totally confident the U.S. federal government would respect the will of the Texas voters. This sure they would. <laughs> but if not, um, well, they, they can go down to Texas, fuck around and find out. All I got to say is when the eyes of the ranger are upon you, hope you've been working your Nordic track, all the muscle groups. You're going to have a fight on your hands. Uh, a lot of guns in Texas. In case y'all didn't already know that, there's a lot of fucking guns in Texas. Y'all have fun out there. And there's a state party in Texas, Texas Secession Party. Yeah, there is. That's yeah. that's how they manage to get enough signatures in order right. to be able to put it on the ballot. And I'm going to venture to say that a lot of those uh, secession party members are alums of the Texas Agricultural and Mechanical University in College Station. Um, this is the segue that would normally lead to all of my... Um, Aggie shithead jokes because my dad went to UT Austin. Go horns. But um, if you're not from Texas, then the Texas Aggie shithead jokes really they don't, don't land hit. Right. Yeah. It's like that poor guy that keeps asking, what's the whole thing with the hashtag love your Oregon? It just, for some people, it. Yeah. It just, it just some jokes just can't be explained. The organ literally just has to slap you in the face, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> organ slap in the face. Oh, oh where, where's the chat? I got another one. Where are you at, Coop? Oh, so how many, how many different live streams have y'all been bombing with these tags anyway? At this point, I'm definitely over 700 organ hashtags. I've got enough hashtag organs to fill an entire fucking comment. Yeah, but I was saying is where are you where are you dropping them? Everywhere. <laughs> like Just ask are, the ladies. Yeah, people are, are watching uh fucking Timcast. I don't know why you would do that, but apparently people do. And they see one of the Oregon hashtags go flying yeah. by in the chat. That's right. Right on. Oregon's made for beavers. That's right. <laughs> it's the beaver state. That is true. There you go. <laughs> that is true. That is facts. Duck around, find out. My organ's ready. There you go. <laughs> so you you lived in Ecuador. That's right. right Por dos know? años. All right. Si. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you lived in Ecuador. Si, Ecuador, la gran patria del Ecuador. Me fui un profesor del inglés a la Universidad de Cuenca por dos años en la provincia de Azuay, cerca a la frontera peruana. So I, I was a, um, an English teacher down there two years, right close to the Peruvian border. Have you by um, any chance talked to anybody down there in the last 24 hours? Uh, Tuesday, I talked to, uh, Monica and oh. she's like uh, a big Daniel Naboa supporter. And so I still feel comfortable talking to her, but like my other homies, um, whose names all seem to escape me right now. Um, damn weeds. Not so much Naboa supporters, so they remain anonymous. So, did Senor you know Presidente. that? Did you know that, like, the entire country has been without power? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. They shut the power down. Yeah. Uh, uh because uh, of wanting to. You see, the current vice president 
has this corruption scandal that's involved her son um because like well you see ecuador is just like the united states now where there's all these corruption scandals involving their children um hunter biden anyways uh (laughs) because the son um but so like the son of the vice president there um because the, the president of the palace is Carondelet in Quito. And so there's like this corruption involving like drug use and prostitutes and stuff with the um, Hunter Biden, basically. Um, hmm. <laughs> Party time are, activities. Are, are we that banana republic now? I think yes. so, Chiquita Banana Lady. Yes. I think so. Yes. Totally. Matter of fact, there was a court that even said yes. Uh, and Chiquita Banana, you owe a couple million dollars for uh, torturing thousands of people. Well, Chiquita Banana does sound more Hispanic than United Fruit Company. I'm just saying. No, it does. It does. It's more on brand. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Uh, but united fruit will fuck you in the ass uh 12 to what is it seven ways to sunday chuck schumer like oh no everybody's like dogging out blackwater as our brand name let's go with academy oh they're on to us we're gonna go with z spelled xe how about that eric fritz (laughs) wait a minute weren't there a bunch of uh a bunch of uh, uh what do you call them? Uh, regiments in pants. the in the Russian army that had Z's. Oh, but that's with a Z, the actual letter Z, not spelled X E. Oh, I don't know how to spell anything. Yeah, that, I yeah. Ecuador's those... Ecuador's been without power. Interestingly enough, so has New Zealand. Which is, now, uh, I don't know, where, where's Harps at? Is he in Australia or is he in New Zealand? No, he, he's in Australia. He's not one of those key weirds. It, okay. Harps does not hawk a dance. Um, now, here's the thing about the power generation in Ecuador. Uh, over 90% of all their electricity is generated from hydroelectric power. All right. And their uh, Andes mountain range is bombarded with rain every single day of the year on the eastern slope because the Amazon is one of those, um, oh, one of those rainforests. Rainforest, that, yeah. Um, yeah, the, the, I was thinking of the rain. You usually rain get a lot of, of rain forest. with those, yeah. Yeah, we're like it's the Amazon. kind of the name. It's a tropical ass rainforest, and so it's like fucking raining all the time, every day, pretty much somewhere along that slope. So there's always water coming off the Andes Mountains, which are over uh, 6,000 meters, 18,000 feet, over three and a half miles high. And then by the time you get down to the city of, um, we reviewed this before, the city of Coca. Oh, yeah, where we, last Francisco, week. We reviewed it last where, week. Yeah. Yes, where Francisco de Orellana told Francisco Pizarro, hey, homie, take a couple ships further down the river, get us some meat, yeah. some fresh pussy. I'll be right back. A couple days tops. Next thing you know, a couple of years go by. They never heard from him. They are like, fuck it, we'll go back to Quito. You know what? We're gonna go back home. I I gotta go to the bank in Madrid, and I need to get my hair and nails done again. And next thing you know, they're at the fucking royal court in Castile there, and Oriana and fucking Pizarro meet face to face. Again, we went over this last yeah. week. Oh yeah. my God, you're alive! Yeah, funny, funny look- meeting you here. Funny meeting you here. Yeah. What are the chances? Yeah, we did cover that. I thought last you were week. dead. I thought you were dead too. And then they sued each other. So anyways, um, there's no way that they ran out of water for these hydroelectric plants. No. So why the power outages? Well, the power outages are because of the crew cut 
all of these crew cut terrorists with the high and tight haircuts that are um take they've taken the power plants hostage because they're part of the um patriot front in ecuador that's trying to take over the government that sounds like look, fun but they all look like government agents and a lot of them have actually even had schooling in the United States, what a strange coincidence! Wait, wait, wait. wait did they have schooling that's in the United weird. States or at the School of the Americas? Because that's two completely no. different things. No. Uh, well, when I mean schooling in the United States, yes, I'm referring to the Western Hemisphere Institute of Security and Cooperation, formerly known as uh, the School of the Americas. Yeah. And it's on the base, formerly known as Fort Benning. <laughs> that that's that's we got a lot of formalities going on yeah. here today. What is it now? It's like Fort Zizim or something. Um, I don't know, they change the names too often. I can't keep up. I think it's Fort Moore, like Trevor Moore. Uh, yes. Yes! What did you win? Fort Benning renamed Fort Moore. Fuck wow. yeah, man. Fuck yeah. And Fort Carrizo, Fort Hood. Blue Getting the shit down. Fort Bragg, Fort Liberty. Because <laughs> we ran out of names. Anyways. Right, apparently. <laughs> they were like, what's the most popular show on the interwebs? We'll fucking name it that. Can we get a Fort Will Ferrell, please? What a fucking clown show. God damn. So, the former School of the Americas is now at the Western Hemisphere Institute of Security and Cooperation. Same school, same campus. But it's not Fort Benning. It's now Fort Moore. Right. Because all you got to do is rebrand every 20 years and, and people won't remember. It's, it's because we got new owners. Don't tell anybody. I guess it's a secret. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, the Washington Post style guide actually provided our title for us this week, Yona, and we do appreciate it because that's uh, less work that we have to do, uh, you know, before we go on the air. But they want us to know about all the cheap fakes that are running around out there, Yona. Because they're there to deliberately infect your mind with misinformation. And there is no known vaccine at the moment. Although I'm sure somebody is uh, bilking the government out of millions of dollars a year trying to develop one. That's the pattern. Well, now when you say there's no known vaccine. For misinformation. Are are we talking traditional vaccine, mRNA vaccine, or can we make something else a vaccine too? I don't. I think they're. I think they want to go with the mRNA thing this decade. Would it like they kind of already sense? set like, the rules up for that. You know, I don't know if they want to introduce something new at this point. Like, you give people too many choices, they get confused easily. Yona, we can call it when they deplatform. Or demonetize or shadow. I believe Edward somebody. Bernays said that. Uh, we'll call that whole online othering process. You've been digitally vaccinated because you're spreading the misinformation virus. So we're going to vaccinate the rest of the interwebs against your viral infos and memeages. So shadow ban, deplatform, demonetize, poof, and he's gone. Next. <laughs> Shout out YouTube. <laughs> Shout out Twitter. Oh, man. And, and like, even Shelly's been getting fuck shit on Rumble. Mm-hmm. Come on, Rumble. What's going on here, man? <laughs> Peter the Eel. Don't, don't do me like that, Peter the Eel. 
Well, I expect it to get worse. Because again, now they're now they're starting to to ramp up the narrative of, you know, you can you can make whatever you want with a video and put it out on the internet and get people to believe it. And there is a segment of the population that is going to buy into that narrative and they're going to be completely duped by it. Uh, our, how did we get to talking about the fake airplanes going into the World Trade Center again? Are we talking about that footage? We might as well be. Because oh, there's so oh, many sorry. problems with that footage. It's too soon. Are it's you talking soon. are you talking about like the stuff that we had or the stuff that just got released like three years ago on that one weird ass <laughs> YouTube channel? Which ones are you talking about? Um, there's a whole bunch of those videos out there and they all show something different. You know what? I, I'm gonna fill in bubble number E for all of the above. <laughs> This, this is a standardized test. There's the machine that grades them real quick. Anyways. Yeah. But no, results the, may vary. The cheap fake, Yona, is the gateway drug to the entire fake universe. Like, without the cheap fake, you can't have the deep fake. Right. Right. Because the deep fake is so good, you don't know any different. Right. Whereas the cheap fake is, is just like, it's thrown together. It's 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 like it's, it's like nineteen eighties. It's nineteen eighties movie magic where you like, bro. I can see right. The it's it stinks of mainstream media. Is is what it is. Like when you get that particular odor, you know, ah, yes, this right here. This is a cheap fake. It's like vintage nineteen sixties Tokyo filmed Godzilla, yeah. where you're like, okay. Yes. Yeah, guys, this this is this is a three foot tall Japanese dude in a fucking Godzilla right. suit throwing around fucking toy trains. Come right, on. you can actually see like openings in the seams and yeah, 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 yeah. But that that of course begs the question because Yona, we had Deep Kate resurface last Saturday. Yes. There was there were new pictures. There was nude new pictures. No, oh, I want not nude, nude pictures. Not nude. Not nude. Oh. New. New. Oh. Uh, new. Oh, uh, oh fuck with it. A we w. Anyways. Right. So there were new pictures. There was new pre recorded video. All right. And then we also had an image of someone standing in a doorway wearing what appeared to be the same outfit that Kate had on in the video that was pre-recorded that we watched before we saw the person standing in the doorway. We had all of those things on Saturday. Wow. So my question is, do we have to stop calling her Deep Kate and start calling her Cheap Kate. Yeah. Cheap's Kate. Well, it, it's Cheap's Kate. Or Cheap Kate for short. Yeah. Well, we'll see which one sticks. I still say if, if you go hummus on Kate, the chickpeas. Anyways, just don't eat the falafel before you condemn the hummus. Care sympathizers. Don't make me couscous again. I still think she's dead. Bro, she's as dead as Lady Di under a Parisian bridge. Come on, man. Yeah. Too soon? It's too soon. Shout out to Sergei, uh, Sergei Scripple, Novichok, and um, what was that place? Oh, Porton Downs, where, where they took the Scripple cat and killed it. Yeah. Which, again, you know, Okay, I got. I got to stop. I got to stop for a second. Of all the things that happened when Trey Samay, the hair product, was um, leader of England, Trey Samay, or, or, or how do they say it? Theresa May? Theresa May? Oh, the funky dancer. Yeah, I know who you're talking yeah, yeah. about. Theresa yeah. May, but but they'd say Trey. Hell May, of a dancer. Like, yeah, like the hair product, Theresa May. Um, and that's when she was saying that the Russians used Novichok 
to poison Sergei Skripal and his daughter in their flat in, uh, well, now I don't remember the name of the town. Was it Coventry? What town was it? Anyway, it's right next to Port and Salisbury. Salisbury, England. And Salisbury's right next to Port and Down, which is like their Fort Detrick, might as well say. And they then went to the Scripple apartment after the Scripples are apparently at Port and Down getting um, treatment. Right. And uh, they went in there and they and they found their cat. And they just immediately killed it. And I'm like, like they that would if the most, it had been a dog, but it was a cat. Like I, that's just the most fucked up part of that whole story to me. It's like, like what did they shoot the cat? What, what did you they kill do? The fucking cat for? But how I mean, did they kill your, it? Make your lies about Russia. Make your like cover up for porting down all your other spy shit. But did you really have to kill the cat? I mean, you know. Maybe the cat was asking for it. We don't know. We don't know, Yona. Cat could have been a complete asshole. Cat might have have needed putting down. And they were actually doing the world a favor. We'll never know. Because unfortunately, it's classified. Maybe Russian-style Novichok causes rabidity in cats. That could they be. They were dealing with like a like a pet cemetery situation where that could it's be actually already dead, but it, it won't die. That's right, and you, they you, probably you, omitted that from the news article. Yeah, because you buried the cat with um, some druid ancestors up by a Stonehenge or something that uh, woke idiots have just uh, defiled. Speaking of defiled monuments. Hmm. I, I did a little flyby filming this morning. I put up a little blurb on the AM Wake Up Telegram channel because I, I, I figured out that like if you hit the little camera thing and, and you have to hold it down the whole time and you, and you can record like up to 90 seconds of a video that's like in a little circle, kind of tacky. But um, I was in downtown Huntington. It's hard to work earlier. with too. It's an odd format. Yeah, yeah it's, it's very... Very weird. Anyway, so I'm downtown Huntington, and I pull up at the light, and I see the fucking rainbow striped crosswalk with two huge burnout black stripes across it, Bam. and then ding, fucking light went off my head. That's what was in the WSAZ article that I and others have shared about the gay crosswalk being vandalized. In Huntington, West Virginia, it was covered by WSAZ Channel Three, um, and and the feds are investigating it as a hate crime. Oh my goodness! And uh, I, I I was like, wow, there it is. So I pulled through the light, got out, and walked over and got some video uh, with my phone there. And are the skid marks still on it? Oh yeah, yeah, that oh, happened like beautiful. last week. Yeah. That happened last week. Yeah. You took yeah, a bunch of pictures, correct. right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, the, I mean, I, I got the Because eventually they're going to paint over that. You know that. They just It, it won't painted. be there forever. See, they just laid that paint down on June the 1st. So it's been like not even three weeks. Wow. Almost three weeks. Because they had that, they had the road, they had that old intersection blocked off for like six hours for the paint to dry. I know Did that's you, where I delivered. It's right by Pullman Square at the Starbucks, and anyway. So, were you able to <laughs> see like what what gauge tire it was? Yeah, it was from a big monster beast, like what I'm driving. So dually, probably. Got, uh, no, it wasn't dually. No, it's single. Uh, but I'm saying like, oh. look like a lift kit with wide fucking profile single with tires um and i mean he left some fucking burnouts man they're about maybe 40 foot long damn from 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 the the rubber pile because like there's actually like a little that triangular means he meant it. 
there, there's like a little triangular rubber melt bump at the start of it. And then the Back to the Future stripes going off toward the uh, burning license plate on top of the other rainbow. You know, we, we should not assume this person's gender, Yona. We really shouldn't. Because it could be like a really angry lesbian. Because, you know, they've been treated uh, by, uh, they've been treated like shit by the alphabet people. Yeah. You know, it could, so, I mean, could it, be one of why, those, those uh, big bull dykes up there in Huntington's just fucking had it. Maybe they don't like going first. Why, why is it always lesbian, gay, bi, you know, LGBT? Why not yeah. GLBT? Or, or a BLTG? You're going to get more than lettuce and tomato on that sandwich. I'm telling you. Guaranteed. Anyways, um, <laughs> let's just mix and match the letters. Why not? You know. Well, and then they Have started putting symbols in there, you know, and punctuation and shit. That that, that means extra mayonnaise. <laughs> That's why I call them alphabet people. Because <laughs> yeah. all the alphabet and everything you use to construct sentences. You know, it could have also been one of our darling local West Virginia chicks that uh, will swap you a brown snowball. And um, we, we've been over this before. What There's a regular snowball and there's a brown snowball. Um, that's because, you know, you, you two lovers can share the same plug of tobacco and mouthful of semen. Just mix it all together. Um, but add banjo. Results may vary. <laughs> Salt to taste. So, <laughs> anyway, you know that that's the ironic thing. When I picture the guy in the lift kit four by four truck that peeled out on the gay crosswalk, yeah, I picture him going back to the woods, finding a city slicker, making him squeal like a pig. There's some half blind kid on the porch playing dueling banjos, um, party mouths all around. But that's not gay. Yes, it is. Okay, th this is like that scene in Harold and Kumar go to Guantanamo Bay where the, where the Guantanamo Bay guard comes in and he, and he unzips. He's like, all right, it's time for you to get to suck in my dick. And Kumar's like, Bro, that's fucking gay. I'm sucking is. your dick. That's gay. And you're gay for asking for it. It's like, no, I'm not gay if you're sucking my dick. You're gay for sucking my dick. And then somebody bites his dick and they got away. Next right. thing you know, they're smoking weed with George W. Bush in Texas. You own a pro tip? Makes sense. When in Gitmo, when in Gitmo, talking about Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, uh, that little part that we stole in 1898 and we still ain't giving it back fuck you um when in doubt bite the dick just bite the dick and run but you know, run to it, the west toward havana w should okay. be just down the road from me yeah crawford baby yeah just a few hours away i would imagine that's right and that, and there's also that ranch where dick cheney and his lawyer um we're shooting at clay pigeons in each other's faces, apparently. Well, no, just the one like guy's face. Too. It was just the yeah. one guy's face. It wasn't everybody. Right. Oops. Yeah. Well, he thought it was a clay pigeon. Poor guy must be really ugly. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were a clay pigeon. <laughs> Ooh. I'm just seeing exactly how far away I am. About four hours. It's just on the other side of Waco. Oh, that's the coolest part. I, I was looking at my itinerary from point A to point B to point C to point D. A is up in Ohio. B is down uh, on the border with Georgia. Hmm. C is on the border with Louisiana and said Piney Woods. Yep. Point D is at the mouth of the Royal Gorge of the Arkansas River in beautiful Pueblo. And all told, it's about 
2,033 miles. I'm sorry, Shelly. I'm, I'm really sorry. I don't know why, but it's exactly 2,033. Again, with the 33, man, I, I, I don't know what the fuck's going on with that shit. It's, it's starting to bug me. I'm not even into numerology. It's fucking with me, too, Shelly. Okay. So. Out of the whole two thousand thirty three miles. I've been boys. noticing I've been noticing like the repeating uh the repeating time on the clock, right? Like I go to yeah. see what time it is, it's oh it's two twenty two. Oh it's three thirty three. Oh it's eleven eleven. Like I've Whoa. been I've been having that shit happen for like the last couple of weeks over and over and over again. Whoa. That's wild. That's, you know, it reminds me of that movie, 23. Was that Jim Carrey? That was Jim Carrey. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't want to go down that numerology hole. At least, you know, not without a round trip ticket. I mean, you could end up like Sid Barrett or Keith Moon. Or, or... You definitely want protection. <laughs> but anyways, out of the whole 2,033-mile journey, crossing multiple states so ohio and multiple rivers gonna be crossing ohio west virginia kentucky virginia tennessee georgia alabama mississippi louisiana finally into texas the longest leg of the entire trip is 16 hours to get from the texas state line to the other Texas state line. Right, because Pueblo's like, what, an hour or two beyond the Texas state line? Pueblo's just like barely an hour from the northwesternmost yeah. corner of the Texas panhandle where the Oklahoma panhandle and New Mexico and Colorado would just all kind of jump in like a big gay pile to stop the future time people from Turk and Jerbs. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, the other end, the Piney Woods, is like pretty much where the Gulf meets Texas and Louisiana, pretty much. Just about. So Just about. We're, we're, we're getting that perfect diagonal about the furthest distance you could possibly drive within the state of Texas. Um, Almost, but not quite. Because normally you drive 16 hours anywhere on the East Coast, you're going to be crossing like seven or eight fucking states. Right. <laughs> Not Texas. Or you could just or you could just cross Texas. Yeah. One state. Sixteen hours. <laughs> Nine hundred miles. <laughs> no, I I think honestly it's like Yeah, it's over six hundred miles. Yeah. In one fucking state. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big fucking state, you know. That's Yoda. nuts. Man, that's not. It could it's be so its own country. Wrong. It should be its own country, but we already discussed that. I'm, it's I'm so actually excited. Drive. Literally, one of the days of us of us traveling, we 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 start out in the morning in Texas, and we end up at at the the hotel layover, and in we're Texas. still in fucking Texas. And yeah. we wake up the next morning, still three or four more hours to get out. Of Texas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. Thank no, God I have not been Thank God there's plenty of buckies. They're everywhere. Everywhere. We'll be fine. We'll I be haven't fine. been in Colorado in almost 30 years, Yona. Last time I was in Colorado was 1995. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So, I'm trying to think when I went to Colorado and I wrote the song Colorado Cuisine. Because uh, I wrote that song there. Um, obviously. <laughs> and uh, gonna have to say around 2010. I'm thinking it was around 2010. Yeah, it's been 14 years for me. And how long for you? Almost 30 years? Yeah. Oh, well, a few things have changed in Colorado since you were there last. 
Well, I heard you know, weed got, is legal now. They got weeds there. Yeah. Well, they had weeds there when I was there. It just wasn't legal. Like, you could grow it in your closet. Just don't, you know, don't let nobody know you were doing it. I mean, I don't know, like. Shout out normally, to Brad. Normally when I travel um, and you've got the mobile Yona on the road, um, it's cool if the place I'm going has weeds. But, like, I mean, weeds are like my buddy. Like, everywhere I go, they go. So, you know, you don't get the Yona without the weeds. I mean, I don't care if I'm in fucking Antarctica surrounded by emperor fucking penguins. I still got fucking weeds, whether they got penguin dispensaries or whatever. Um, yeah, whatever. Now, There's when I was in... still people that grow it there, too. When I was in Colorado in... Yeah, 2010. Um, or was it 2011? Hmm. I don't know. 2010, 2011, when I was up there, weeds was legal. And, uh, wait a second. Yeah. I got my, uh, my, uh, stepbrother in law, AKA T Hawk, Tony Hawk, who was playing the guitar when I wrote this song. And, um, Wait, your stepbrother went, is Tony Hawk? Well, his name is Andrew, but he looked just like fucking Tony Hawk. Hairdo, face, everything. So, I mean, I was, I was immediately like, man, I'm just going to call you T-Hawk. He's like, what do you mean, T-Hawk? Like Tony fucking Hawk, skateboard. Oh, oh, yeah. Why? Because I look like him? So, you know. Yeah. Well, then, never mind. Let's just play the song, T-Hawk. So, um, <laughs> I wonder yeah, how he, many he, of them are running around in the world. They're they're called um. There's a word for it, doppelganger. Yeah, doppelgangers. I have quite that, a few. I've been told that, about that, them. Yeah, that is your Scrabble word of the night, folks. Uh, for those looking for that triple word score, that's right. Secret word time. Yeah. But it only counts if you play the O tile that has the Unlaut on it. You'll have to be playing with the German Scrabble set. Otherwise, it doesn't count. Fuck you. Yeah. Anyway. Results may vary. So, uh, gee, I guess uh, <laughs> with my shit burger voice and everything. Yeah. Why not? I think... Oh, you're going to try a live performance? Yeah. <laughs> Even with the kids sleeping? Uh, you sure be, you want to uh, tempt fate? Hang on a second. Let me see where he is. Just a second. Just one second. Uh, I don't know if this is a good idea, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're asking for it. I think we're we're going to push it a little bit too far. And something's going to break. Oh, man. So, what I need to do. Aha. Uh-oh. Now. Now my uh, earphones. Should reach. Pull the phone out. Oh, but we don't want the microphone to unattach. You're going to want to hear it. Without the microphone plugged in, not much audio going to be coming out of my feed here. So let's see. It's the same. All right, let me take it out of this. Let's see if that works. All right, all right, we got a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right. What do we win? <laughs> I like uh, prizes. A fresh plate of Colorado cuisine at the Broadmoor Resort Hotel. In Pueblo County, Colorado, Colorado Springs. Because the city of Pueblo is in a different county. Hmm. You would think that Pueblo, the city of Pueblo, would be in the county of Pueblo. And you would be wrong. I mean, these are just details. Yeah. All right. 
uh, and I actually ended up making that sounds like a, you're working really hard. I actually made a uh, newer version of Colorado cuisine where I added a second verse about a Walmart tea and a digital ID and everything. And uh, I'm realizing that uh, I almost have no voice at all. So I might just play a little bit of the melody, and then we might just go to the video. <laughs> I don't know if I can sing, buddy. <laughs> why, why don't we just do the video? Uh, so well, I'll voice. try to. Yeah, because guess gonna, what? You're you're gonna have to use your voice again tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> I'm going to have to save my uh, nature boy voice for tomorrow's call. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Uh, You never want to strain the moneymaker, you know? (laughs) I I can't remember um, my voice ever being this hoarse before. Um, We're in uncharted territory, Captain Kirk. Um, (laughs) Let's see here. Was it uh, gargle with salt water? I think is what they say. Uh, yeah, to help to help loosen the the vocal cords. That's Voice horse. What it is, yeah, is it, it's a uh, tightness uh, in those muscles, and apparently that helps open them up. I guess I don't know. I think it's the. Um, I'm not a biometrist. It's this weed, man. I've been coughing my ass off. That'll oh, do wait, it too. It yeah, that'll do it too. It was the dabs and the and the two vape pens. Yeah, and the kids. Let's be honest. And and then yelling at the kids. It, it it's a it's a multitude of factors. Yeah, it's a multi crisis, as uh, Larry Fink would would like to say. Multi crisis. Speaking of Larry oh. Fink, Yona. Did you know that he was a featured speaker at last week's G7 summit in Italy where Joe Biden molested the Pope? Are are you talking about like Black Rocks Matter Larry Fink? Yeah, yeah. Black Rocks Larry Fink. He was speaking at the G7 summit. You, which but which president? He's not a leader of a country. Yeah, that, well, that's what I was going to say. Is like which which he's a banker slime leader. ball. You know what, Yona? He leads all of them. That's right. I forgot. Oh, because he cuts the checks, right? And they're all eating on his yeah. dime. So. so he was basically there, going, "Look, this is what the fuck you're going to do." Are you really going to bite the hand that feeds? Come on. 
bro. They they get to eat good. I mean, have you ever seen some of those restaurants on K Street in the District of Criminals? Oh yeah. Oh goddamn! Wonder why you know, bro. People knock lobbyists, but lobbyists are nice to you. Well, yeah, when they want something. Right. You know, and I mean, you get wine, you get dined. I mean, hell, uh, lobbyists you will get, get to you meet a piece their friend ass. Jeffrey. Yeah. They'll, 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 get, they'll give you a piece of ass, and you don't even have to worry about James O'Keefe busting in at the end. It's great. <laughs> um, well, let's see. Do you have our two dedicated Walmart workers up there? Yes. Are you seeing that? Yeah. Um, so when I, uh, this song was originally Colorado Cuisine, and I re recorded it and added a second verse about Walmart tea because the, when I first wrote the song, it was about the fact that a kid with a college degree was having to take a job at, at McDonald's. Um, but then the economy got even worse. So now, Kid with college degree had to take out two jobs, and he's working at two the McDonald's. jobs at McDonald's. Damn. No, no, he works at the McDonald's inside the Walmart, and then clocks out of the mall of the McDonald's that's inside the Walmart, so they can then work his Walmart job. Holy two cow! Jobs in the same fucking building. Does How he many sleep Mc- like in the in the pet department? That's what I would do. I would go and it, yeah, get like one of those it's just really like big that, pet uh, beds and just curl like up that, in there. Is it Tom Hanks where he's like trapped? He lives in the airport. In the like, airport, yeah. Which yeah, apparently like that, that actually happened to a dude, allegedly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, and God forbid it was at O'Hare too. Jesus Christ. It's worse than hell. Yeah, or Logan. Chicago O'Hell. Oh my God. Um, So, since it's the, you know, the new version is Walmart T, Human Pet Slave Remix. Um, I found this awesome, super duper cool Walmart Corporation video where the Walmart Corporation has training materials for new Walmart hires to watch about oh, yeah, why yeah. unions why unions are stupid, why Walmart's fucking awesome. Yeah. Fuck a bunch of stupid ass unions. We don't need that. No, the We're corporations Walmart. are they're really big on the training videos. They think that shit's uh, great. Oh, this is this is awesome. And there is a, a guest appearance by Jackson Hinkle in the training video. Oh good. That's right. That's right. The one and only Jackson Hinkle. That's right, Jimmy Dore. Are y'all ready? In the Let's Walmart training shit. video. That's right. Wow. Get back harder. Blammo! Sounds like employees, associates, they're listened to. And without going through... Is that Leanna Wen? Of course not. But you see, uh, y- yes, yes, it is. Associates. We know that our associates' ideas are, are good. Associates even came up with suggestions about our work schedules. And they use some of them right away. One job frying burgers. One job... Two jobs, cash and orders, just to get by. Human pet slave. One job, frying burgers. One job, two jobs, cash and orders, just to get by. Human pet slave. Well, I got my GED. Now I got my job. Oh, she made contact with that slap. It's about to go down, Chris. Go down. Won't stop calling me all day, but I get to slave every day, working two jobs for uh, the maximum wage. Breaking it up. Pay. But I am free. I'm a 
saying I'm domesticated. Don't let her tear that place up, Peepaw. Pet slave. Wait, I thought that was the referee. Doesn't he have the referee shirt on? It was magic, just a dream. Find out. He'll be fine, Drizzle. He's still got his face mask on. <laughs> it was magic. I thought this was false count anywhere. Find down here on that Colorado. And we cut to the Broadmoor Hotel. of the Rocky Mountains I had to fight and I had to fuss Well, I made it to Pike's Peak and I still went bust Oh, yes Human pet Oh, she's got a weapon, Drizzle. Look out. I think we're going to have to tase this one. What's she packing? A sausage? Uh, no, she has a 10 inch long knife in her hand. Oh. And she's on meth. Don't worry, the so, Marion County, Texas Sheriff's Office is on the case, buddy. This is from Texas. Well, of course it is. Did you make this one? Uh, this is two and a half, three years old. Oh, wow. Drop the knife now. Uh oh. Boom. Oh, she did get like tased. A sack of taters. Damn. Like a sack of taters, buddy. No, I did it. So you all kidnapping me? Wow. Yes. Yes, they are kidnapping you. <laughs> well, I mean, he he did warn her. You know, goodness. <laughs> I really need to go. Uh oh. He hit the wrong one, ladies and gentlemen. Or maybe he just really needed to go. I don't know. Hold on. There you are. Okay. Yeah. Uh Instead of ending the uh, rumble thing, I hit that red X thing that says leave. Yeah, the one that you're not but supposed to hit. I know which yeah. one you're talking about. I'm going to hit this weed before I hit the wrong button again. <laughs> I'm sure that'll help. Yeah. I don't know. Somehow yeah. my audio got fucked up again, so I got to do something here to try and fix it. I really need to go back and... Uh, Fix the audio on that Walmart. That's a good song. Yeah, it is. But the audio is. I think the kids crap. were really digging it. Audio yeah. Really crap on that. Um, I, you know, I would redo the vocals. Yeah, even right Mark now, agreed. But, he said, uh, "Yes, you need to do that." But I mean, that that that's why you asked. Like, wow, how old is that song, Yona? That's right. It's like, yeah, that's that's like I recorded that 
that new version of that song, I recorded it two weeks after I first recorded a ton anonymous. Oh, wow. That was a long time ago. That was so, like two yeah, years ago. Over two years old. Yeah. <laughs> or, or, or to put it another way, about 850 Yona songs ago. <laughs> that sounds about right. I've got like 20 albums just laying in the floor now. <laughs> you and Bryson Gray. <laughs> I don't get it. Y'all found like the, the, I don't know, never ending fountain. Oh yeah. It, it got, there's like three fire ass songs. And then I've got this whole thing I'm working on, uh, with this band in Australia now. Um, man, that's, you're part of a band in Australia now. Well, well, I'm, I'm, collaborating with them on this uh, well his name is matt finley and then he's got his other mates down there uh there was uh somebody on drums somebody on bass guitar somebody else on electric organ he had a lead guitarist um and then there's this weird cherokee redneck from west virginia doing all this other shit <laughs> that's me sounds kind of <laughs> like king gizzard a little bit um and so like I programmed up a uh, new percussion track, played a new piano track. Then I was in the process of adding, uh, I added oboe, and I got about halfway through that, and, and that's when the um, notification noises started. And then I started on the cello, and I got about 20 seconds into the cello, and it got interrupted. So uh, I think next time I record, I'm just going to, completely close out and turn telegram off yeah as well as this i would recommend that doing that yeah that way i don't have to worry about you know same thing with facebook those that things can be distractions yeah you know when the red light's on and i'm in the middle of recording a song it kind of sucks when yeah Whoa! <laughs> or you can you can actually just go you should be able to go into the settings and just turn off the volume for the notification. So you still get the notification. There's right. just no sound associated with it to, you know, train you like you're a stupid fucking animal or something. Yeah. Yeah. I can do that too. Yeah. Uh, that's what I need to do. That's why half oh. the time I don't know. People have sent me messages. I don't, I don't have any notifications on at all. I see shit when I see it. And sometimes I don't see it. So, um, that was, that song, Colorado Cuisine slash Walmart Tea, that I wrote in 2011, that was like the first song I had written since 2001. So it had been over 10 years between writing two songs. And the song I wrote in, 10, in 2001, Shout out Trent Apian. Reznor. That was the first song I'd written since 1993 um, when I was with my band in California. So there was like a seven years, eight year stretch where I didn't record a single. I mean, I, never mind recording. There was an eight year stretch where I didn't make up or compose any new songs. And then I went another 10 years without composing a song. So in the span of 18 years, from 93 to 2011, only wrote two songs. And then you go from 2011 to 2017, another six years, until I wrote a third song. So, in 24 years, I wrote so it three started songs. started as a trickle and then became a fire hose. That's what it now, sounds granted, like. Now, granted... In 1993, I wrote over 100 songs when I was recording and I had a studio. The whole issue was I didn't have any way to record, really, other than just a tape player. And I was doing all this other shit, like surveying and business. and Just there was never, ever, ever, ever any time to write music or do anything like that. Uh, and then <laughs> when I did get into gigs, and, you know, because I was with six other bands, all we did is cover songs. 
And so but now I, I'm leaving out. I did write, I did co-write two songs with Stir Crazy and Oma with that. So there was three other songs in there that I co-wrote where I added parts to the band. And of course, we never did play those songs on stage. Just the fucking Bad Company or ACDC or Zeppelin or. I like ACDC. With, with, with Level, it was all fucking. Huey Lewis in the news. Oh my God! Oh, and we ran, we we paid the studio three days just to record covers of fucking Huey Lewis in the news. Pretty much re-recorded the whole me. album. The sports and it just you spent well, money to record covers. What my money? I mean, because the dude's good. lead singer's girlfriend's family owned the studio. Uh, of course, um, but but he still had to pay for it. But I mean. And so I figure one of these days when I'm doing it big and, you know, I'm like getting paid to gig and I'm traveling around and I'm doing my thing and, you know, somebody's going to find one of those fucking records that we burned with me playing fucking I Need a New Drug, one that won't make me sick. No, make it stop. Make it stop. That's I don't so, I don't think that's the worst that could possibly happen, Yona. That's not that embarrassing. If this is it, his ca- no, no, no might be no. embarrassing. That might be no. embarrassing. No. <laughs> no, it just gets worse from there. It gets, I uh, yeah, man. Which I mean, which thought- department at the CIA was it that you think created Huey Lewis in the news? The the pedo department, yeah, first floor. That's what I was thinking. Right by the front door. Yeah. Don't forget, hip to be square. Oh, God. I had to play the moog and the keyboard all that shit. Man. At least, at least, they would let me do fucking Steve Miller band, fly like an eagle. Because I, mean, I literally, I, I told, I was like Drew, man. Drew, bro, I got this fucking Moog. You're not going to let me Joe Walsh or fucking. Come on, man. Just one, man. Can't I got you got to let me get some Casey and Sunshine or some Steve Miller. He's like, we can do Steve Miller. Eagle. Thank you. Thank you. He was probably like, Case, what the fuck did you say? It didn't matter. I quit the band a week later. That was probably for the best. Yeah. I yeah. Because I wanted, we had original songs. I wanted to play original stuff. That's all I did with Kelpwood, pretty much. Well, we did cover some. Albums. The world just wasn't ready for it yet, Yona. That's what but it was. Now, now, breaking out on the scene. So, unfortunately, my. This is a work in progress, and and this is like the first version uh, with the Australian band Matt Finley and and friends, um, and the version that I have with the oboe and everything else and the cello is a work in progress that I'll get to when we go off the air here. But uh, <laughs> to go from because I just feel so bad about that sound quality, <laughs> I'm gonna have to go fix that song. Um, but uh, in the meantime, Just put it, get you a little notepad and make you a to do list and write it down on there. You know, oh, well, and, and that and way then, you've got like, you know, whenever you don't know what to do next, you just look at the list and you're like, oh, I'll do that. This morning, when I woke up at 5 30, I sat down. Jesus. And I started playing on the keyboard and I just happened to fall into that little riff from uh, The Who, you know, the. The Baba O'Reilly, you know, or some people call it. Some people call it the Teenage Wasteland song because because they don't buy records and they don't know albums and songs. Bless your heart. But anyways, it's fucking Baba O'Reilly. So I'm I'm doing that thing and I'm like, ooh, ooh, I I I've never remixed the Who yet, and I kind of like Keith Moon. He's really crazy. So um not so much Pete Townsend. Yeah, he's he's Roger Daltrey's all right. Canute. 
Yeah. He's a douche canoe. Totally. Pete Townsend's a pedo. What are you talking about, douche canoe? He's a fucking pedophile. Very much so. Uh, unabashedly so. He's the and anti-Eric Clapton. He's like um, the Gilmore and Pink Floyd to uh, Roger Daltrey's Roger Waters. Yeah, there, that's yeah. That is an appropriate I, analogy. I, I, yeah, I, I, I kind of get that same friction between Daltrey and Townsend that I get with um, Gilmore and Waters. Definitely, definitely. Um, so uh, I'm in the mix of remixing that because um, I don't know. I and I'm, I'm I finally started on my rap album. I'm putting my latest rap album. And there's the metal song that I'm working on with Dead. So there's so many fucking irons in the fire. God damn. So I got a I got a metal song, <laughs> rap song, <laughs> dance album. Um, but then there's this Australian thing. <laughs> all over the place. Shout out to my new mate, Matt Finley, and all me mates down under. Uh, this is oh. Copenhagen time. The video features Again? a beach. And um, didn't we play this last night? Did you play this? Yeah, we played it on the potluck last night. Oh, the Copenhagen time made it. it? Yeah. Whoa. It was bizarre, man. Oh, well. I mean, we can play it again if you want. Oh, no, that's fine. It's better to play because everyone's already heard that. That's fine. What? Oh, oh! I remember. I was watching the kids last night too, because that's when she started puking and said that it felt like she had kidney stones. And then come to find out, it's kidney stones. Oh. two centimeters what do you know? in diameter. Um, and you Is can that actually. Bad? Well, it turns I out I don't know even like what the what the measurements are or anything. Two centimeters would be three quarters of an inch, roughly. That probably doesn't feel too good. Um, but you can actually pee that out the pee hole if they put in a special metal metal stent that stretches out the pee hole. Um, right. Goodness. Anyways, um, oof. You know, I think I cannot uh, imagine. I hope that never happens to me one day. It hasn't so far. I've taken good enough care of myself in order to (laughs) avoid it. Have I ever shared the uh, genocidal drip where it's got the map graphics where it shows how? During the 1967 war, how Israel like moved all these lines across the map and stuff, and that's when they stole from Syria, stole from Lebanon, stole from Egypt, stole from Jordan. Um, have we played it, that? I don't know if we have. I don't think so, because it's got Stokely Carmichael, aka Kwame Toure, having oh, a yeah, debate yeah. with a Zionist at UCLA campus in 1973. We might have played it. I remember Kwame. Yeah, yeah, we did. Man, I smoke so much weed, man. It, it's a good thing. And and did I share the Tracy Lords video? Yes, yes, I did. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, I, I tell you, you can forget that. Yeah, I can watch how it again, you? though. Absolutely. <laughs> um, And and I've shared the Beck where it's at. I don't know if I've done that one. I don't know if you have either. That might be the one to go with. Um, and of course, that is from the Beck album O Delay, featuring right. um, a hay bale jumping over a hurdle. Because that's what they do. Oh, wow. And there's no commercial? Oh, 
fuck yeah. And this is the first video that I ever made on my uh, open source. So it, it's great using open source everything. No more watermarks. Um, it's free, which means I don't have to pay for shit. I love it. <laughs> but uh, all right, I got that queued up. All right. All right. Well, let's hear it. <laughs> Wait. Is, is Beck still under the whole Scientology thing? Like Probably, honestly? yeah. I will give him his, a pass. His family was all about that life, so probably, yeah. So there's this big thing in, like, the bars here in Kentucky and West Virginia with the line dancing. And there's, like, whole troops and families, and they all wear the same country western attire. Oh yeah, and then they and then they do their choreographed um, country line dancing. Um, you know, to me, it's probably the best part of the clothed part of the entertainment at Ram Ranch. Am I right, LD? Anyways, this is Ward's hat. <laughs> Ram Ranch. Where's the sound? I got 
Oh yeah, there's that pay. There it is. Woohoo time. We're done. Oh, wait a minute. Was this the one? Yeah, where the fade just goes forever. No, no, that, that there's much longer fades than that. That that one. That uh, we one don't need to hear them tonight. Yeah, that that one tied up pretty quick. All right, this time I'm going to stop sharing instead of leaving the stream. All right, we, we can right. write this map. Oh, that's a nice looking map. <laughs> Oof. Well, I think Damn, we probably saved. Shit yeah. <laughs> I think we probably saved the, the best for last, Yona. Because uh, I, oh, I don't yeah? know. This might have slipped past your radar. Uh, former CDC director, Robert, don't call me C. Everett Coop Redfield. He says that bird flu will be the next pandemic. Yes. Not, not might, not perhaps, not there's a good chance. Not, we think maybe, no, he says will be. That's a, that's a pretty bold uh, choice of words, don't you think? He sounds confident when he says will be. Like, Honestly, uh, he knows something the rest of us don't. I think we can all thank this bird flu. For probably saving our democracy this November when everyone's wearing face masks as they mail in their... Well, I mean, there's like 20% of the population out. wearing them now. Right, right. Shout out to Trader Joe's and to um, Albertsons and Safeway and Kroger. <laughs> oh, did I leave you out, Whole Foods? Yeah, fuck you, Whole Foods. Seriously. Are they really going to try this bullshit again? $8.50 for a six-ounce package of guacamole. Dude, this why, don't will... I just, why don't I just fuck an avocado instead? I think that would get people that out in the cheaper. streets. That would be cheaper. And, you know, I thought avocado would be avocado in Spanish. Then I get to Ecuador, and they call it aguacate. That's right. What the fuck, man? Fuck. Because avocado is a lawyer. Aguacate is an avocado. I'll take your word for it. I never encountered a lawyer in Mexico, so I had no uh, need to learn the word. Well, I, I had to get a lawyer in order to get my uh, teacher's visa so that I could have work papers. Because, you know, at that point, I was beyond the whole tourist thing. That's why I got that awesome Ecuadorian visa up in my... It's like takes up two pages in my passport book. Damn. It's a very, very sexy picture, too. I've still got all my teeth, and I'm like 180 pounds. That's before I reached this whole, you know, succubus stage where I'm like pretty much skin and bones. All my teeth are rotted and falling out. I'm down to 128 pounds. Seriously. It's literally like completely bled the fuck dry. Um, uh. Women will but, do that uh, to you. You know, um, at least there's closure. At least there's closure. You know? and, and then you move on. X marks the spot. That is true. And it always will. You can count on that. There's, uh, there's something comforting in that kind of permanency in a world that doesn't offer much else. Well, 
I tell you, I, I'm really looking forward to this trip out west. Because I am too. I used to travel all the time. I did too. And something weird's been happening ever since the pandemic. Because I remember during, you know, when the pandemic kicked in, there was all this panic about Americans far and wide. Get to the airports and get back home quick. It's like mom and dad yelling out the back door, you know. Kids, in the house. We're closing the border. You won't be able to travel anywhere. Hurry back. We're sending planes everywhere to get you. Which was bullshit. They didn't actually close the border. Right. They've never but closed all, the fucking border. It was all border. part of the panic. It was all part of the panic. Hey. It was all part of the get you into your lizard brain fight or flight mode. And it worked. Um, and you know, really since that time, I mean, I've still been going at it like gangbusters delivering pizzas and then door dashing and Ubering and everything else. But for most people, they're the ones using DoorDash or Uber or Grubhub or what the fuck ever to bring, you know, more yeah. and more people have grown accustomed to just basically sheltering and place and doing the master based um yeah apply more um marinade as needed um (laughs) keep it moist america so now we've reached the point where i mean i i just don't think that many people are going for it again to borrow from Corey hughes talking about the double whammy, triple whammy, pulling the wool over people's eyes. It, no, no, no. Uh, the vast majority of the American electorate don't vote because they also don't write letters to the North Pole anymore. I mean, you know, when I, when I ceased being a child, I, I put away the childish things and, um, now I have silencers and um, bump stock type things. So fuck around and find out. That's right. That's how it works. And uh, I, I got to make a video for my song, um, Straight Dealers on Four Wheelers. Yeah. Uh, I, do you remember that song? I don't, I don't think I've ever heard it, but just by the title, it, it fucking slaps. Um, straight Dealers on Four Wheelers. Now, I wonder. I think. Oh, it's eleven fifty-seven. Right, yeah, the... you better hurry up. You are running out of time, sir. I gotta find the speaker. This is usually where we do the end part of the show. Sometimes we tape it beforehand, but usually we do it now. Uh, Don't worry, y'all. We'll get that joke later. That was that was like a okay. That's the part. That was a higher level part. type joke. All right. I have this is this is completely uh, dil, ladies and gentlemen. I have no idea what the Yona is doing, uh, but All he, right. he so better hurry now, the fuck up. And in order to get the file over there, why is this? Oh my God, the rat's nest, the fucking wires, man. Jesus Christ. And now this thing is wanting to fall off because I'm just going to rat's nest of wires. All right. Get the mouse over here. Because I don't know how I would play a file, a music file that's just a music file and share it on the screen because there's no. There's yeah, no they video. Don't, they don't exactly make it easy. Um. Oh, wait. I can go to the uh, Grand Theft World Radio Newsy channel. Or no, let me go to TMP. I just shared it there recently. And then we go here, pull down the music. Audio files. All right. Straight dealers on four wheelers. Where is it? Uh, it's in the TMP Telegram channel. Well, I've got it in in uh, Grand Theft World Two, but it's buried down. I don't know how many months ago. 
Oh wow! And I thought that I yeah, had you're not gonna here. find it, man. It's yeah, buried. Yeah, yeah, it's here, right at the top. All right, here we go. And I can't get the fucking microphone. Over. All right. Yeah. taste of um one of the most uh like violent it. songs that the yona has ever written it's uh it's a love story about the second amendment basically um <laughs> i like it i want to hear more uh but we're out i of mean time. You know, i figured we could go out with a bang <laughs> there you go. that's how we do it love you guys <laughs>